hi there. Uh, somebody was asking on one of my videos, how do I cut a cylindrical hole through a cylinder uh, at an angle that's not 90 degrees? And I'm going to attempt to explain here how to do that. So, firstly, there's the the quick and dirty way. Um, that's not particularly accurate. I'll do that quickly and then I'll go back and show you a more accurate way of doing it. So I'm going to start a sketch XY plane. I'm just going to put a circle in there, constrain it to the origin. And set a diameter of 40. Then I'm just going to pad the circle 200. So we have that. Then I'm going to add another sketch perpendicular to the first sketch. So in the XZ plane instead of the XY. Again, another circle. I want to make that half the diameter of the first. Just pick an arbitrary sort of thing. And I'm going to make it. 50 mil. I'm going to make this dimension coincident with the origin, so it's now inside. It's now inside that cylinder, and you can't see it. Now I'm going to pad it. Let's just choose a large number. So, <coughs> so this is a cylinder inside a cylinder, perpendicular to it and so the challenge was to change the angle so it's not perpendicular so the very simple way of doing that is select the pads sketch going to data and in the placement simply change the angle Uh, two. Let's try and make that two forty. There we go. So that angle has changed. Um, and also, if I want to do a a through hole, I'm going to have to move the cylinder. So I look at my axis system. I need to move it in the Y in a positive sense. Almost there. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Thirty. Almost haven't made it long enough. <clears throat> okay, I'll move it in the Z as well. <sighs> oh, that's a bit irritating. Let's make this a bit longer. That's better. There we go. Okay, so that's sticking all the way through. Uh, now it's just a simple case of going into part workbench, run a Boolean operation with two shapes selected. We want the difference. Uh, let's hope this works. Yes, there we go. So I've, I've taken the difference of the pad, uh, uh, which is this shape, and pad 001, which was the cylinder going through it. As you can see, there's a through hole at an angle to this cylinder. That's the quick and dirty way, and by that I mean we can't constrain as such the position um, 
of this hole and the position of this hole in in relation to the cylinder um, so there's there's no way of making this accurate so next or in the next tutorial I will show you the the more long-winded approach uh, but it's more accurate so stay tuned